Uh, I go out there and it's basically, for lack of a better word, it's like stand-up and then a Q&A. Stories and jokes. Yeah, it's, it keeps me awake, you know. Going out there in front of a few thousand people not knowing what I'm going to say is, uh, uh, focuses the mind. Yes. There are a number of things I've learned over the years. Uh, don't over plan. You know, a rigid itinerary is destructive. <laughs> you should be able to make mistakes. Uh, yes. Uh, have happy, you know, you're, the, the happy, yeah, right. wonderful accident is yeah. never going to happen. You're never going to find that perfect little study yes. uh, if you planned it rigorously ahead. It's yeah. almost guaranteed to disappoint. If you walk into a, a place in Rome or Vietnam and there are other people from your country, you're probably in the wrong place. <laughs> if there's pictures of the food, you're in the wrong place. If the menu's translated into English, you're in the wrong place. It's uh, taking the organizational skills that yeah. I've learned as a professional yeah. chef. Uh, and applying them to cooking for a nine-year-old and her friends. Give me a good bowl of pasta. And <laughs> I'm happy. I'm a cheap date. You know, I hope we become more like we, we stop taking it all so seriously and we become more like Italy in the sense that food is important, it's worth being passionate about, it's worth arguing about. But you don't take pictures of your food in Italy, you know? You know? <laughs> you don't make people, other people feel, you don't use it as an aggressive act. You know, I ate in one place and you didn't. Right. Uh, right yeah. You know, I'm eating. In the, you know, I. You know, I'm getting organic food and you're not. Uh, you know, it's a little. It's gotten a little silly.